everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be building my 2022 uh, planner. I am a Franken planner so what that means is I put all of basically one or two months in a single planner and then you know I put it back in that same planner for you know the the next month so I decided I'm going to use this cover this year plan a happy life I'm gonna use this yellow cover I may change it mid-year I did last year so yeah so I might change it but for right now I'm gonna use the yellow one and it has this really pretty kind of uh, what do you call it navy <laughs> stripes on the inside so um, we're gonna do that and then I think I'm going to use um, the gold so I have these gold expander discs so what I do is basically build my own planner so I will show you I'm going to be using this um, cat lady planner this year this is a 2021 happy planner but I did not get a chance to use it there are a couple that I didn't get a chance to use, so I do redate um, most everything in. This is just like my memory keeping catch-all planner, which I use weekly kits in most of the time anyway, so it doesn't really matter the dates because it'll all get redated anyway. So, I'm, But I'm going to be using the cover from this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cover, because I'm going to use that cover, and then I'm going to put this um, cover on here for um, for now, for this one. So this is just a notebook that I got. So I'll put that cover on here for now. So, okay, so that's the planner. So we're gonna use this cover, like I said. So we'll put this on the, I think I'm gonna use these gold expander discs. I don't need all of them. Because yeah, my planner does tend to get pretty big just because I put several planners in one. So. This year my planner will look a little bit different than last year. I have last year's planner and I'll pull some things out of it that I might want to keep in here for this year. But last year I had a kind of memory keeping catch all planner, a social media planner, a wellness planner, and a budget planner. Um, some of those elements are going to be in this year's planner and some are not. So. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna use that. So let's first of all put the cover in here. Whoops. Okay, so essentially that's what it's gonna look like inside the, the cover. So, okay, let me zoom out even a little bit farther just so you can really see what I'm doing and maybe I should use some of this. So here is my old planner which I need to take apart and put in but I will take out my sticky notes. Hello. Um, And I'll stick those in here because I'll still use those for certain things. So I'll stick that in the front. And then there's some other random note paper that I had in there that was for my therapy that I'll keep in there, but I'm going to put that in a different section, I think. And then. Um, I don't really think I need too much of this. Oh, I do need my um, I want to keep the same dividers. Okay. I 
I will put my budget, my envelopes in here. I don't know if I'm going to do cash system this year or not, but just making sure there's none in here. So last year what I tried to do and didn't really do well with it is I tried to do the cash envelope system where you take out cash and you put in an envelope for each of your like more variable expenditures. So, I don't know, I might do that this year, so I'll just put it in there, that way I have it in case I want to use them. Okay. Nope. I was just checking to see if I had any money in any of them. Nope. No surprise there. But they're already labeled, so can't to have them in here. Okay, and then I had one for this coupons. Well, okay. Coupons. Alright, let's see. Okay, so I don't think I need anything else, but I might use, oh I did have this one coupon. Yeah, it's only good till one three. Okay, so never mind. Um, all right. Yeah. Might as well keep the same, some of the same dividers in. They're still good. Same folders this year. Let's see. Mm, I'm not going to do social media this year. I think I'll change those ones around. Because I like those dividers, but I don't, yeah, I don't love the other ones. So, okay. So, let me put that to the side. Let me put that to the side. So, here, let's kind of center this for you. Okay. So, let's go to the front here. So, what I'm going to do. section. That's just going to be there. Okay. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this for the catch-all. And then I probably need one more divider. I'll get that in a minute though. Actually, put this. Whoop. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Let me, okay, let me just start putting stuff in because I'm getting ahead of myself. So, okay, first I want to put in, I'm going to put in January for my catch-all. 
so this is going to be January for my catch all planner. Okay, let's see. So I want to put my. Let me get this one. Okay. One of my lettered names here. Okay. And then I will need to get a. Uh, We'll need to get a little divider, but that's okay. Right, let's see what folders I have. that one. Okay, so maybe I'll do this one. I like this one for the front, the planner bait one. Okay, and then let me see, for the wellness I'll do this one. And then for my other one, the recovery one, I'll do this one. And then I think I'll take that one out and put this one in instead for that section. Okay. And then I need. Dividers. So, oh, I actually already have the journaling one, so let me put that one. I'll do those ones. So let's see, this one is going to be for Okay, so that'll be for that one, which will be Okay, so this will be the catch and then okay so let's do wellness okay so oh, I'm not gonna use this one. so for the wellness one so I'm gonna use this one it's a uh, like or was this the journal one um, the 
this is more the journaling one. Okay, so this is going to be the wellness one. This is the recovery layout. So this is the one I'm going to use for, for this one. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put this here. some dates here that I'll just use from when I was setting up my uh, work one. I didn't, oh, that's February. Let's see. So this is going to be January. Actually, instead of doing that, instead of doing it on both sides, I'll save that one for the other, for the other one that's undated, so I can label that. Okay, so, oh yeah, so that's January, so this is the recovery layout, and it says like this week, Let's see, it's to be something in my head. Have I been selfish, dishonest, or afraid? Do I need to fix something? Do I owe an apology? What have I done well? How can I help others or be of service? How will I nurture my recovery this week? And then there's like space for um, journaling as well. And then, do, 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 do. so why did I put this one then? So I think this was journaling. And then this is going to be this one. Said we'll kind of use that January one here. Okay, and then, all right, so that's the journaling one. And then this one, like five things I'm currently loving, one area I like to grow, little things that bring me joy, simple ways to be kinder, and then. Like my attitude, where do I feel most uh, at peace, what excite, excited me today, and daily gratitude. So it has different things than the other, the other one. Okay, and then the last section. Okay, so I have the budget stuff. so I don't get rid of the dates. Okay, and then I also have this extension pack that I bought. It has like chores, meal plan, budget, and projects. So we'll see what all I want to use out of this. Because this is what I bought for the budget stuff. But I might want to use the chores one too. We'll see.
I think I, mm, I'll just put it in. What can, what can it hurt? Okay. And then there's meal plans, weekly meal plans. I really like that one a lot. Um, Cause I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit more diligent with my meals. Because I have to get my acid reflux under control, so I have to eat at home more, which is going to be good both budget-wise budget and health-wise, so it's good, but it's going to be kind of annoying at first, so... Okay, and then this is the budget one. Let's see, so. I guess I'll use these and then I also want to put in some some other pages but we'll see um, I don't think I need the projects yeah I don't really need the project section it's nice but I don't really have any projects to do right now so I don't think I need that section. Okay, so let's do... Okay, so let me put... Nope, that's that one. Nope, I just did a thing. Okay. Maybe... in some some paper here and then I'm going to switch the budget stuff around so this is just going to be for extra things like I keep track of my bank stuff and all that in there like my expenditures so I'll put that there and then I want to move going to keep that in the back there. Let's see. Chores meal plan. So I think what I'll do <laughs> is I'll do this one and just label that like household. So household, okay, so I'm just trying to think here. Oh, oh no, okay, well I guess I'm not keeping that. I 
since it wasn't that important <laughs> to keep. It was just for my therapy. But, um, okay. So, let's see. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. This is already pretty chunky, so I don't think I'm going to put anything else in here. Let's see. So, I have the cover. I have sticky notes. This is the catch-all section. And I have my crazy cat lady one. Then I have... I do have that one okay so then I have the wellness with this wellness one then I have the journaling with this journaling one and I have the household with the chores and then the meal plan pages and then the budget with the budget pages yeah I think that's gonna be it so essentially the so like the three will get swapped every month so like this section for january for my catch-all will be swapped every month and i'll put that back in my main planner and put february in here but i'll keep this kind of all year section the planner kind of calendar section and then like the wellness so I may not need to necessarily switch this because I might, because I'm starting it kind of mid-month, so I might have enough into February, but when I run out, I will then kind of switch this since it is undated. So if I don't use it one week or something, then I can keep it in there. And then same with this journaling one, I will kind of replace it as I need it for the chores one it looks like i have enough for so this would be a whole month right four weeks yeah so like one month two month three month four or five so this is like six months and then the meal plan maybe in six months i'm not really sure one two I don't know how, oh, but there's like a lot of sheets so I would just replace this get more when I need it and then for the budget I think I have enough for six months as well one two three four five six yeah so I have enough for six months here as well so yeah um so like this section doesn't need to be changed for like six months but like this, these sections can be changed every month, basically. But the wellness, depending on how much I use it. But my goal is to start using it more frequently. So I hope this will close. <laughs> yeah, barely. <laughs> but it still has a little space. It's like still a little squishy there. So, um, but yeah, this is my 2022 franken planner i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about how i utilize my planner how i franken plan um franken plan system or just happy planner in general feel free to leave a comment question below or you can also always private message me on instagram at clinko plans and i'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about this planning style i've been using it for a couple years now and it really works for me um I am getting kind of back into planning after a couple months of a little hiatus, but I'm definitely committed to finding time to use this because it does definitely help with my mental health and it's just something that I really enjoy and it's an outlet for me to be creative. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!